ballpoint pens. I don't know what it is about ballpoint pens that I love. Like it's amazing. It's like the best art supply, art tool that I've ever owned. Ballpoint pens. Simple, easy, cheap, basic ballpoint pens. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dedicate this entire episode for my love for ballpoint pens. Ah, ain't that a good idea? I've always wanted to do this. Like, just talk about ballpoint pens. Like, who makes videos about ballpoint pens? This guy. I used to sketch a lot with pencils when I was a kid, like color pencils, normal pencils, graphite pencils, charcoal, I hated charcoal. Charcoal, nope, nah, nah, I don't like them. But the thing is recently, for the past one and a half years, I discovered that I could do art with ballpoint pens. Why do I love ballpoint pens so much? Here's the reason. Uh, one, it's better than the pencils. Pencils suck. No, no I'm just kidding. I love pencils. I, I use them to make guidelines for my ballpoint pen art. But uh, the thing is, pencils don't give you the, the level of darkness and contrast that a ballpoint pen can give you. Like, you know, it cannot it cannot give you the dark, deep blacks. Pencils doesn't do that. They, they cannot do that. I mean, unless you're using a very dark pencil, even then it's hard just to produce the depth of blacks that can be achieved through ballpoint pens. It's also better than the good old fashioned ink pens and ink, brush and ink, in my opinion. Not that they are better. It's because it is not as fluid as the ink, meaning ballpoint pens has got some texture to it. You can go very dark with it, very light with it. You can play with the level of gradients. You can just control the thing, apply pressure and just make your way through the world of gray scale. I don't even know what that means. So it's like the best of both worlds. It lies in the middle. It's better, slightly better than the pens. It's slightly better than the ink pens, in my opinion. By the way, this is all my opinion about ballpoint pens. Some people like ink pens, some people like pencils more. I just love, happen to love ballpoint pens. I don't know why. I've filled up sketchbooks with ballpoint pens. Let me show you, just, just hold on a second. All these sketchbooks, yeah. Ballpoint pens, ballpoint pens, ballpoint pens, ballpoint pens. This is my journal, I can't show you this. You can make thin lines, you can make thick lines, you can do cross hatching, you can do shading, you can go from dark to light, light to dark, you can fill up areas with blacks, you can do a lot of things with a freaking ballpoint pen. And the best part about ballpoint pens, it's cheap as hell, bro. It's cheap as hell. I mean, hey, it's cheap. So people ask me like, how do you do? What techniques and tips do you have to make arts with ballpoint pens? Why am I doing this thing? I'm not Marlon Brand. I'm Marlon Bender, I haven't seen Godfather yet. You come to me on the day of my daughter's wedding and you ask me to do a drawing with ballpoint pens. People ask me, like, what tips and techniques and tools do you have at ball ballpoint pen art? One, line weights. When it comes to line weights, making thick and thin lines, I do it by just feeling my way through the illustrations. Sometimes I just like, hey, you know, this area would really look cool if I put on thick lines. This area would really look cool if I put on thin lines. This area would really look cool if I put some cross hatch. This area would really look cool if I just leave it alone. So I just feel my way through the illustrations. The thing is, that's my, that's the problem with me. I don't know actual solid tips and techniques. I'm just like feeling my way through drawing. It's like not, it's not me who's drawing. It's like something inside me who's drawing and that's hard to explain. So this Spongebob illustration is my Inktober day three illustration. I wanted to do, I wanted to see what I can do quickly with the, you know, a ballpoint pen. The reason I'm doing October is one of the biggest reasons I'm doing October is to improve my control of my pens and improve the line quality and improve the speed at which I'm doing my illustration. This little SpongeBobby thingy took me around about an hour and a half and I don't want to take an hour and a half for such a small illustration anymore. I want to improve my speed with which I'm sketching. And also, I took the Inktober Day 2 prompt, which was divide and put it on day three. I don't know why, I just was like, hey, I had this cool idea. I wanna do a SpongeBob illustration. Hey, what if I take Inktober Day 2's prompt, which was divide and put it together and boom, I got this. SpongeBob is like running in opposite directions. That's so SpongeBobby. SpongeBobby, is that even a word? Yes, yeah, SpongeBobby. Hey, guess what? Look at this thing. The ballpoint pen is divided. It's divided between the worlds of inks and pencils. It's in the middle. I didn't even recognize that until now. So we today is divide the ballpoint pens. Always end these videos abruptly, right? I do.